My name is Margaret Bradbury. People call me Peggy. I grew up in Newfoundland, Canada. I'm one of 10 children. Our family's a close-knit family, and I can't point out anything bad about having nine best friends. And it came in, <laughs> it came in handy for uh, looking for a kidney donation. <laughs> Peggy Bradbury first came to us in 2009. At that point, she was a 40-year-old woman who was on hemodialysis because of chronic kidney disease. So we thought she would be an excellent candidate to try to induce tolerance of the kidney for her. Tolerance is the hope to get a kidney or an organ to be recognized as self and to get off immunosuppression. Peggy qualified for this protocol for several reasons. One, she needed a kidney transplant. Number two, she did not want to be on all of the immunosuppressive drugs if she could avoid it. Number three, she had a donor who was willing to give her both bone marrow and a kidney. In that era, we went to a patient and said, you can have a kidney transplant and your success rate at one year will be 90%. You'll have to take immunosuppression for the rest of your life, or you can take this new process we have. You kind of imagine that the transplant is the cure to the problem and not a treatment, but it's a treatment because of all the things that go along with transplanting someone else's organ inside your body. You have to take immune suppressant drugs in order to kind of calm your immune system down so your body retains that organ. And you're balancing the damage to your body from these drugs and also trying to keep the organ safe and functioning. So it's not a cure, it's a treatment. That's not a normal life. It's a life with a chronic disease, a chronic illness. But when you're tolerant, you take no more medication. You basically are back to normal. The minute I understood like what the logic was behind the transplant, I was on board and then meeting the representatives at MGH like Dr. Rubin and Dr. Kuai, they completely sealed the deal. She was one of the bravest people. She said, do you think it's the right thing for me? And I said, yes. <laughs> she said, let's go. And that was it. They transplanted me with Stephen's kidney and um, his bone marrow. My heart was acting differently. I know my head was clearer, my eyes were brighter. It was just was a different experience. I think it was nine months after the surgery when I stepped off the immune suppressant drugs. I was medication free and uh, the kidney function was uh, performing beautifully. This was a journey for all of us, not just for her, but we were on her team and behind her every step of the way. The goal of induction of tolerance is to restore a patient to a normal life. What this protocol so far has established is that it is possible to induce tolerance to a transplant in human beings. I think this is a pioneering experience. I think the quality of life, when you don't have to take immunosuppression and you go from dialysis to having an excellent functioning kidney, that's dramatic. And that's what we hope for the patients in the future. I feel like I have gotten a cure 